I'm back with another video of tutorials. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Geo5 to another router. So in this case, I'm using TP-Link 840N. This is TP-Link WR840N router and it's a budget router. So most of the people will be happy you seeing this video because the previous router which I used in my video, the video is in the I. Uh, so here will be the I, right? Okay, so that's it. Uh, previous video was with my TP-Link Archer 320i uh, which was a high-end router and it was easily able to connect with any router and it was able to access means you will be able to access your router as a range extender. So in this case I will be using this router as a range extender and this will be the base router means this will be sharing internet to this router and this router will be again sharing internet to the other devices of your home right. Okay, so many people were asking uh, the questions that they are not able to access internet using their new route means the extended uh, range router because the problem is that uh, whenever you disable your dhcp at the first step means in my previous video i have shown you that first of all disable your dhcp but you should not do that uh, means the router which i was using was have uh, was having the capability of uh, doing that because uh, in this router when I disabled the DHCP uh, in the first step I was facing a problem that the IP address was not matching with any of the devices. Now what it means is the IP address which I have given to this router was like 192.168.225.3 but instead of that it was taking a random IP address from where I don't know so that I wasn't able to use this router as a range extender but after half an hour I was finally able to figure out uh, what was the problem. So what I have done is uh, just do all the steps before and at the last step I have just disabled the DHCP. So make sure you keep your DHCP enabled until last step. So now let's go to my laptop and let's see how it works. Okay so let's go to the settings first. Now I'll be resetting my white router and now I'll be connecting my white router with my GeoFi device. I won't be using my black router. Uh, so the settings are 192.168.3 because I've already changed the settings. Okay, we will go to system tools and just take a backup of your router so that in case if you face any problem, uh, you will be easily able to restore your router settings. So I will be just going to factory default. I have already taken the backup of my router and I will press restore. Okay, so we will just press 192.168.0.1 and write enter. Now we will have to enter the password. So the default password will be admin admin. And here we are. So first of all what we need to do is we will go to wireless. We will change the channel to 11 as my GeoFi device is configured on 11th channel. So we need to give the static channel to it. So we will just keep the channel to 11 and press save button. So 11th channel is saved. Now we will go to enable WDS bridging. If you don't know, if you don't have the button of survey, then you just have to manually enter your SSID and BSSID means your MAC address of your router. But in my case, I'm having a survey button. So I'll be using that button. Now here Uneval is the black router and Uneval roaming is the GeoFi device. So I'll be using Uneval roaming and I'll be just connecting to it and just put the password of it in it in the password block it will automatically choose the key type so it's WPA WPA2 key type and just press save still the router won't be able to browse let's check Google if it's working or not no it's not working so why it's not working so still we need to go to network and we need to go to LAN and we have to change this address now my geo5 device address is 192.168.225.1 i'll be showing you how to find this ip address of your geo5 device or any other router it's quite simple to do that 
for TP-Link router, you just have to go to networks and then LAN. So you will be able to see your uh, configuration IP address. So it's 192.168.0.1 right now, which we are using it here. So for Geo5, it will be 192.168.225. I'll be using 3 because 2 is configured with my uh, black router, the Archer C20i. And we'll just do OK. So now let's try if Google is working or not. So here you can see I haven't connected any Wi-Fi device right now. Wi-Fi is turned off and my laptop is connected using Ethernet cable to the TP-Link white router. Let's see if Google is works or not. Now after rebooting, you won't be able to access your router configuration page using the 192.168.0.1 IP. You need to enter the new IP dot three. Okay, so our new IP has been configured. Now let's see what IP we have got to our laptop. Just go to command prompt and type config. And here you will be able to see 192.168.225.100, right? So we don't want this because till now you will you won't be able to access your internet. So after com completing all these settings, just go to DHCP and just disable this DHCP. Make sure don't disable your DHCP before this configuration happens. If you will disable your DHCP before doing all this configuration, then you won't be able to access your internet anyway. So you need to reset your router again and then do all the settings again. So DHCP should be at the last step. In my previous video, I have, shown, I have shown that the DHCP should be done first, but that router used to support that. But this routers don't support this. Make sure you disable your DHCP at the last step so that there are no problems. Okay, just press click here to reboot and we'll reboot the router. One more thing, I need to change the password of this router so that we can connect it using our Wi-Fi. Okay, let's try Google. Still rebooting. Reboot hasn't been done yet. So let me manually write the IP address and check if it works or not. So reboot has been completed. Now let's see if Google works or not. Okay, Google is also working. Now let me just change the password of my Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi security. And we will be keeping the password anything. Right. So save. Okay, so the password has been saved. Now I will be disconnecting my Ethernet cable. So let me just disconnect my Ethernet cable. So it has been disconnected. Let's see. It's been disconnected. I will be turning on my Wi-Fi. And we will go to TP-Link 4A42FA. Now this is my TP-Link name. So let's connect my TP-Link. I already put the password so that there won't be any problem. Now let's open YouTube. So it's completely working fine. YouTube is on and we are connected to TP-Link. So we are not connected to Unaval Roaming. We are not connected to Unaval. We are connected to TP-Link. Now this is the router which we have configured for this. Let me show you once again. 3. I will press enter. I have, dis I have disconnected my uh, Ethernet cable. So here is the settings of this page. Make sure to disable your DHCP at end of all the steps because you will be facing problem if you have disabled your DHCP before all the steps you have performed. Okay, so this was all. Now let me show you how to find out this IP address of your uh, GeoFi. Now my GeoFi is GeoFi 1 version. So the default IP of that is 192.168.225.1. Now in new GeoFi devices, there, are, there is some link like geofi.geofi.1 
geofinet.com or something like that but you will be able to easily find the ip address of your geofi also we will go to lan info and here you can see the gateway ip it's 192.168.225.1 right so make sure you connect it using your this router okay so that's all that is how we can you connect any of your router to the geofi device and use your router as an extender so that in case if you are having a low range of your router then you can easily access your old router to extend your range and perform all the tasks all over your home or around your home so thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe and sorry for uploading this video quite late means it's